Big Daddy here. And today, we're going to install the Brisk menu on Ubuntu Mate. So let's get started. So right now, there is a PPA available for you to install the Brisk menu on Ubuntu Mate. So you should never, ever copy and paste a command into the terminal just like I did. Just so you know, that should never happen. And then you would do a sudo apt, wow, sudo apt update. And then you would not copy and paste this into the terminal. And I already have it installed, so it doesn't need to install anything. But that's how you would do it. Three lines, and you're done. And now you should have a working brisk menu. So you would right click and hit add to panel. And there you have a brisk menu. So you can either double click this or just click add to the panel. Now comparing this before we go any further to the default menu for Mate. I didn't really care for this menu when I first started using it because I was never a GNOME 2 user. I was never a GNOME user at all. And it was kind of like going back in time, maybe, I would say, to me, to a, to a person who was on KDE for the longest time. So I didn't really care for it. But as I started using it, and as I started realizing, hey, I know my software is going to be here, I know my folders, of any files or folders I'm going to be looking for is in the places, and anything I want to configure in the system is going to be in the system, and you start using it, it actually grew on me to where I started liking it. Now, with that said, there are limitations to it. You know, there are no favorites, um, and there is no search bar. There's no searching of programs. So there are times where you will install programs, and it may not go into the category you want it to go in, or may not go into the category you think it should be in. So you're now searching for the new software that you just installed. So with all of the good things about this menu, and one of the great things about it is it is probably just as fast as the burst menu. It is lightning fast to open up and move around in. But as good as it is, we're going to remove it. And we're going to move our brisk menu over here. Now, maybe I should not remove it. Because there's something I need to show you about the brisk menu. And the brisk menu is awesome. Okay, it's got the search bar. Got your all programs that you can scroll through. Or you can do a lightning fast search. All right, so you have your accessory categories on down. And you have a shortcut to the control center to get to all your options. You do not have the shortcut to the software center because that's unique to Solus. But you do have your power options. Now the downfalls in the Brisk menu come with, there are no settings yet. Uh, you can't change the menu label or the menu icon. It does not work with the super key. And there are no favorites as of yet. All of these options are planned for future releases. So you have a functional menu that is lightning fast that makes up for the fact that you don't have those options as of yet. And it looks pretty good to, to boot. But the one thing that I've found in installing it on Ubuntu Mate is it doesn't seem to show up everything. It doesn't seem to show up all of the programs that you have installed on the system. And these are all alphabetical. And as you notice, um, the DCOMF editor is down at the bottom and Gmusic browser is down at the bottom where it should be in alphabetical order. But if I add back the menu... And I'm just going to move this over here for this purpose. 
but you don't see the software boutique uh, in here or things like that. So I have the software boutique, uh, software updater, synaptic package manager. Uh, these type of items are not listed in the brisk menu. So somewhere along the lines, I guess with the port over to Mate, it's not picking up everything that it should. So just know that when you install it, that you may not see everything. This is more for testing purposes because although it picks up everything in Solus, it doesn't pick up everything in Mate yet. But I'm sure in future releases it will. But if you want to try it out, you can on Ubuntu Mate. So until the next video, Big Daddy out.